Good morning, my name is Ryan Littlestone from ForexFlow.live. Um, today we're going to start talking about uh, the euro, which has uh, entered into a, a bit of a range phase at the moment. Um, we've seen uh, the, the price move down during the course of uh, this year from up near the 123s into the 123s, uh, all the way down to 117. And, and that's become a bit of a, a boundary, a lower boundary for, at the moment for this pair. Um, Further up, we, we've got the, the 120 level, which uh, has always been a big uh, technical level and psychological level. And when we came down through that level, uh, you know, back in the early part of the year, we had a couple of bounces up and, and we failed just ahead of it around 119.90. So we've developed this uh, 117.119.90 range, called it 120. And that's where the price is, is sticking in at the moment. And... What we're also seeing is the volatility in this pair is dropping right down. We're, we're back below 6% and, and that's on the, a metric I like to look at, which is the one month at the money option volatility. Um, anywhere above 7%, 8% and we're getting into volatile territory, but below 6%, things are really calming down. So we're seeing this range here, 117, 120. And, and with this lower volatility, there's a good chance that we're going to see that range hold unless we get some big news. Now, obviously, uh, the Eurozone, uh, Europe is, is under the cost of the virus still. The vaccine programme is now finally starting to kick into gear, which is a positive for the Euro. But on the flip side, the delay that they've had in, in implementing the vaccines is causing them to go into further restrictions and tighter lockdowns in various countries, including the big countries like Germany and France, which potentially is going to put a bit of a bit of a break on a, any euro appreciation on the on the good news side of the vaccines. So it's a little bit of a, a balance here at the moment between the, the driving factors behind what could move the currency. And so I'm expecting at least for the for the next few periods, next few sessions, weeks, uh, short weeks, maybe two, three, four weeks to see the price moving in this 117, 120 range. If it does that, then that's a decent range, 300 odd pips, to try some trades against the edges of these ranges, see if they hold. And potentially, if we find that the levels are building, 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 but we then get a subsequent break, that's potentially a trade to go with the break there, buy above 120, buy a dip below uh, 117, maybe wait for confirmations of, of those breaks to see if they break and then the level holds again. So that's what I'm looking at for, for euro dollar in the short term. Going to switch over to uh, euro sterling and look at the weekly chart. Um, this is a pair that I've been short uh, since last year, a bit of a Brexit trade and, and running into the, the, the vaccines and the, the potential recovery. Um, now, if, if you're not from the UK, then the, the use today is that uh, shops and, and pubs and restaurants are, are reopened today. Um, limited in, in terms of pubs and restaurants, outside space only, but mainly all the shops are, are pretty much open now. And as is the case with uh, us Brits, the pubs, uh, people were queuing up from midnight last night to get into a pub. And we've seen long queues this morning for people getting into clothing shops. So what I'm expecting here is, is a, a potentially a, a short term knee jerk bounce in economic activity for the, the UK, which is going to be positive for the pound. Again, we're seeing a bit of a range trade here in, in Euro Sterling. We came down through uh, a fairly big level at 85, uh, 50, 60. Um, got down here into the 85s, just pit below the, the 85s there, but we've seen a strong bounce there. Now we're, we're finding trouble into the 87 mark. Um, we've got a, big of a, a bit of a bigger technical level, around about 87, sort of 35, 50. That's an area to watch. Again, we could see some range trading. But for the next few weeks, I'm looking for a big economic bounce in the UK, at least in the retail side. And that's potentially going to give the, the pound another lift. So we could see a, a return to those lows down to the 85s and potentially a break under, which would then maybe target the low 83s down to 82. So that's what I'm looking at for these two pairs at the moment, pound, the euro and the dollar, those sides. Um, it's going to be an interesting week, no doubt. And as always, I wish you luck with your trading.